made our twist in accessories, now I will show you how to make the clip. For this part you will need your big uh, center flower and your small embellishments if you choose to have any. Regarding tools, you will ne need a hot glue gun, some paper towels for the mess, or you can use this amazing E6000 adhesive. It will stick anything to anything, but you will need to go outside to use this because the fumes don't smell very nice and they linger. Um, and last of all, you will need some clips to affix your um, flower to your hair with. I use these ones, um, these ones from um, Jewelry Essentials that I got at Michael's, and these are pretty nice for this purpose because they have this nice flat surface onto which you can stick your flowers. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, take your flower and your embellishments and figure out what way you want um, to arrange them. As you can see in this one that I've made before, I've arranged my... these are the embellishments and I've put them to the side so when I clip it into my hair it has a very nice um, kind of uh, look. For this gray one, I am thinking of splitting these uh, embellishments into two parts, putting one part in between the two leaves and the other part kind of on the side. So basically this is what I want it to look like. This is what it would look like in the back. When you are uh, putting them together, make sure that the two stems from the embellishments and the main flower are in line together. Okay, so once you have had them to, uh, once you got them to be uh, to your liking, we can start attaching them together. And this part is fairly easy. Whichever is the smaller of the two stems, in this case it is this uh, stem from the main flower, take that and wrap it very tightly around the other stem. Okay, and now I am holding them by one stem, and my two flower picks are attached together. If your arrangement has shifted, go ahead and bend the, flower, uh, the wires of the flowers in order to get them back to how you wanted them to be. You can also fix the look after it is glued to the pin. Okay, now comes the fun part. Figure out which part you want um, to be the part that you hold to attach the pins. Usually when you put it in your hair, I just put it straight across like this. It's very uh, easy for me to do this um, when I am fixing my hair by myself. Okay, so I think I will go like this so that uh, the the flowers and leaves will kind of hide this metal um, metal bit of the pin. So I want to attach my like so. Okay, so now I will take my glue gun And then put a layer of hot glue liberally onto the plate of the hairpin. Kind of have to put in a goop of it since you have quite a thick um, stem to attach. And then once you've done that, press the flower stems into your glue.
like so. Now your two flower stems are securely attached to your pin. Now if they have shifted again, as mine seem to want to do, um, just go ahead and rearrange them back. The last part is to snip off this long part of the stems using your wire cutters. And actually, since I do not have heavy duty wire cutters, I will cut them off a couple at a time so as not to damage my cutters. Also gives you a little bit more precision to get in there. And there you go. If you um, got some extra glue like I have around here, you can just take your finger and scrape it off or use a, a plastic knife or similar or if you don't like that this clip and the flower stems are showing for example if you have darker colored hair this will show un, um, unless you figure out a way to uh, make the wires bend around the clip so that you don't see it when it's actually clipped into your hair what you can do is you can paint this, uh, the clip and the stems, uh, whatever color you wish. You can use either acrylic paints or you can actually use nail polish um, to give it that kind of um, shiny and durable finish. So that's it. Now you have a very nice set of twist in hair accessories and a flower clip to wear with your next um, evening dress.